Hello everybody. In this tutorial we're going to explore a feature tool called Lofted Post Base and we're going to make a heart using Loft. As you can see this uh, heart here. Uh, notice when I hover my mouse over to it, it really shows a four different paths to it. So as you can see on my feature tree here, I have a Loft, one meter and a second meter. So if I suppress the first mirror you can see the half heart and if I suppress another mirror you'll see only quarter of the heart which is nothing but a, a loft so this is the strategy that we're gonna apply here uh, let's take a look how we do that we're gonna go to window let me just close this real quick we'll go to window and I have another part ready uh, mainly in this tutorial we're going to use a front plane and a right plane so I'm going to go to front plane I'm going to say sketch on it now I'm here we're going to start with the spline tool on the top uh, I'm just going to draw a one simple line here and when I'm here you see this little details out here I'm going to start pulling it like Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop tool I'm going to make it a little up same thing I'm going to do here with this guy too now in between this I'm going to make a one sorry no center line I'm going to make a regular line I'm going to go right here I'm going to try to make a straight line and there's another line It doesn't have to be two separate lines, it could be one line straight up from here to here. I just want to make sure that it's straight and vertical. Now, the first part you can take this little up here. I'm going to take a little up and I'm going to make a little soft, gradual curve. That's one. Perfect. Now, if I make my front plane visible, we can see that we have uh, a one part of the heart shape on the front plane. Now, I'm going to go click on a right plane and sketch over here. This time, I'll try to hide the front plane first and make the right plane visible. We're here now. I'm going to do is exactly similar steps but I'm going to start from a little away so I can avoid any accidental relationships that I may develop so I have this line created and I'm going to select this line holding a control button another two line remember that line is from a previous sketch and we are drawing a second sketch right now I'm just going to use a convert entities to bring it to this plane click OK seems like it brought it up for us just to double check I'm gonna hide it and you can see we have this line ready for us now I'm just gonna go click on the point here click on the point here and I'm gonna say merge it's gonna do similar thing before I do that I'm just gonna pull it out so it won't hide it down there. Just check, click on merge, click OK. And now this time I'm gonna make this line horizontal. So see I'm clicking on this little handle here, first point, and I'm just gonna add a relationship to that point, and then it's gonna be horizontal. So it's there. I'm gonna play with this a little bit. Perfect. So as you can see here, let me turn on the sketch one. You can see we have two different sketches, one on the front plane, one on the right plane, and it looks like this. Both the sketch has a closed profile. Just just remember I'm just gonna hide each sketch one by one so you can see this has a closed profile. 
I'm gonna make it visible and I'm gonna hide sketch tool. This has a close profile as well, so make sure you have a close profile to prepare a loft uh, in this case. Now I'm gonna turn on sketch tool and now I'm gonna go and make a sketch on the top plane. Drink the can. I'll make a plane a little above the top plane just so that I have a better better guide curve. So I'm going to go reference geometry plane and uh, just going to use uh, offset and I think 10 millimeters seems okay to me. I'm right here, I'm going to go click on sketch. Now on the top plane, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go and draw a spline here as well. We'll start from little distance so I don't make any unwanted relationship both the sides it may look like a little triangle uh, now I'm gonna click on the point holding the control button I'm gonna click on the spline and I'll have a pierce relationship popping up to the left side I'm gonna add a pierce now here don't freak out because it's not at the corner it's exactly meeting the spline where on the top plane or plane one which is parallel to the top plane so I'm just going to do exactly the same thing holding the control button I'm going to select the spline and the point here I'm going to click on the pierce relationship click OK and now once I'm here I'm just going to go click on the point and you see these gray bars right here there we go I'm just going to pull them and I'm going to make this vertical so that's vertical I'm going to go click here I'm going to make this horizontal. Uh, we'll just adjust it a little bit so it comes out smooth. Perfect. So now, as we can see, we have one guide curve which is pierced to the two sketches, and those two sketches have a closed profiles in separate sketches. So that's the deal. I'm just going to hide this plane real quick. And I'm going to click on the loft post base. In the profile option here, I'm going to click the first profile and I'm going to click the second profile. As you can see, it right away makes a surface between those two, those two sketches. Now, in the guide curve option, I'm just going to click this guide curve real quick. So it gives a nice little curve. Now here at the start and end constraint, I'm just going to add normal to profile and I'm going to normal to profile, I'm not going to change any default right here, I'm going to keep it as it is. Make sure here in the option is to next guide and I'm going to change your tendency here to normal to profile as well. Uh, make sure you have merge tendon faces checked and close loft should be unchecked. Click on the show preview in order to see it. I'm going to click OK. And here we go. We have all our details ready. As we can see, the quarter part of the heart, as we saw beginning of the tutorial, is ready now. Now I'm going to use a mirror feature right here. Click on the mirror. And this time, I'm just going to use one of the plane as a mirror plane. You can select the face of the plane. You can select the face as well. So this face, I'm going to select this, and bodies to mirror. There are features to mirror, faces to mirror, bodies to mirror. I'm going to pick bodies to mirror, and I'm going to click on the body here. As we can see, it showed us a little preview. Make sure the box merge solid is checked, and I'm going to click on full preview. That will help me a little more. Click OK, and you can see half of the heart is ready now. I'm going to go mirror feature again. This time on this face, I'm going to select this face. You can select a plane as well. So, for example, if I don't want to select the face here, I'm going to clear selection and I'm going to select the, the right plane here, which is exactly parallel. Uh, if I do it this way, you can see right here, right plane. I'm going to select the right plane and uh, on the body stimulator, I'm going to select this. I'm going to make sure that I have merge solid checked. I'm going to click OK. And there we go. We can see all our 
I'm just gonna hide these two sketches. Uh, we have a nice, beautiful heart ready. Now, for example, I want to make this detail a little better. I'm just gonna make it a little bigger out here. A little big heart sounds better. Make a more gradual curve here. Don't make any intense curve or too high, or else it will develop a conflict while you will try to make a loft or try to apply a low feature. Just gonna click OK, and you can see my entire heart has been updated and it's now bigger. Alright, uh, now you can go out here and apply a material. I'm just gonna apply one quick material. And there we go. So that's the tutorial with two middle features and one loft. The core has two sketches and a one guy curve. That concludes the tutorial of making developing heart using loft. Hope it was informative. Thank you for watching.